Hey guys, what's going on? It's Spudden85 here, and today we are back with episode 2, or part 2, of the texture pack tutorial. So, in part 1, we got this far. We made a folder called texture pack. We made our pack.png here. We made our pack.mcmator here, with the colours. And we made our assets folder and our Minecraft folder. So, the first thing that we are going to do today is we are going to create a new folder and we are going to call it Textures. Okay, and we are going to leave that for now and we are going to head over to this website in the description. I will leave a link optifine.net slash downloads okay and you need to download the latest version of optifine for minecraft 1.11.2 that's the current version uh, but this link will always be update updated okay so you download the latest uh, one uh, by clicking mirror and then you can download the .jar file okay so as you can see it's downloading here okay it's relatively harmless okay uh, and it's free of course and then you can run by uh, clicking it, okay, uh, install, there you go, successfully installed, okay, so we now have uh, Optifine for Minecraft 1.11.2, the latest version of Optifine, so we can drag that back over there and close that, and the next thing that we want to do is, we want to open up Minecraft, so we just wait for this to load, there we go, and then we can see that it's opened up Minecraft, okay, and as you can see it's ready to play the latest version of Optifine, okay, now uh, it should be on a separate Optifine profile, and um, yeah, as soon as it's ready, we we'll just click play, Okay, so it's loaded finally. Okay, so uh, I currently have a texture pack on. But if I go into resource packs and scroll down to the bottom, you will see that we have our texture pack that we made, and I will be showing you how to use this uh, very soon. Okay, so let's uh, drag that back over there and continue. So we have Optifine successfully installed. So now. Uh, before we continue, our next job is to download BandyZip, which is a uh, file editor basically. It's uh, to open .zip files, .ra files, all those sorts of files, um, and it's free. So you don't have to use BandyZip if you uh, are willing to pay money, then WinRAR or WinZip or 7Zip, those sorts of programs, it's the same idea. This is just a free version, so well, and and it's fully licensed, um, but it's free and it works. So that's why I use it. So you can download it here with this button and install it. All of that business. I already have it on my system, so I'm not going to do that. But I'll leave you to that. So I'm just going to close that actually. Right. So where were we? Uh, right, so once you have it successfully installed, uh, if you go back to your .minecraft folder and you go to versions, and you should have right here the latest version of the game as a folder, uh, or rather your Optifine version, that you, that, that's why you ran it basically, uh, you run the game with Optifine to create this folder, and then we can head into that. And then using uh, BandyZip, we can open this by right clicking and going down to open with BandyZip. 
And here we go, bandies it. Okay, so I'll... Uh... So as you can see, we have assets, Minecraft, just like in our texture pack, it's exactly the same, and textures, just like in our texture pack, okay? So, what you want to do is, you want to drag that to one side, and drag this to the other side, and we'll go to, uh, Minecraft, go back to your resource pack, uh, texture pack, assets, Minecraft, textures, okay, so in our textures we can select everything, and drag it over, and that may take a while, uh, but there we go, okay, so we have our texture pack now, basically, so that's all of the textures in-game, that's all done, basically. So, what I'm going to show you how to do in this tutorial, because it's going to be a much shorter tutorial than the last, is I'm just going to show you how to retexture blocks, how to make different resolutions, all that kind of stuff. So, you can close that down now. Um, not going to bother updating it. And, yeah. So, this is our texture pack. If we were to put this on, it would be exactly the same as default, basically, because I've just copied all, over all of the default textures. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into blocks. As you can see, we have all of these lovely blocks right here, along with the MC Meta files, which I'll go into in the next episode. That, that is to do animation and those sorts of things. What we are going to do. So what you can do now is you can find the texture that you want to edit. If it's an animated texture, for example, these command blocks, it will have an empty data file. Uh, I won't go into that in this tutorial. Like I just said, if you want animated textures, that will be in the next tutorial. So I'm not going to make a super advanced resource pack, but let's just get maybe, um, I don't know, grass? Is that here? Yeah, uh, there we go, grass side. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this, and we're going to open it, and we're going to click File, Open with Paint.net. And then we can close that. And yeah, so here is our texture. Very small, isn't it? Let's start in Paint.net. Uh, if you don't know how to install Paint.net, there'll be a link in the description to where you can download it. And um, it was also covered in the previous tutorial, part one, uh, which there will be a link in the description too. So, what we can do is image, resize. And let's make this a different size texture. So, you can make the texture any size, as long as it's a multiple of 16, and the width and the height are the same. So, I could make it, um, I don't know, uh, 32. I could make it 64. I could make it 128. You notice it's doubling each time. I can even make it an 8-bit an eight texture pack if I wanted to. Basically, it's, uh, it, it has to double each time. So from 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, uh, 5006. You get the idea. So let's just do uh, 64 by 64 texture. And as you can see, I'm up to size, so it's very blurry now. But to edit this texture, what we want to do is we can get rid of all of that. Gone. Bloom. Okay. And we can get maybe image, um, oh sorry, let's, uh, what, what we'll do, what we'll do, okay, we'll get fill, fill tool, more, and we can see, let's get a dirt colour, dirt white colour, okay, maybe make it a bit lighter, a bit greyer, that sort of thing, something like that, okay, 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 so we can fill, looks slightly ugly, but never mind, and then we can do effects, render clouds, uh, but we'll render it as an overlay, and we can scale it up, uh, up to roughness, scale it up a bit more, you get the idea, so yeah, so that's, that's just a simple cheeky way basically to uh, make textures like this, uh, obviously it's not tileable, if you want it to be tileable you're going to have to put a bit more effort into it and bloody bloody glass so that it merges on each corner, but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to kind of cheat my way through this because I want to make this a quick tutorial for you all, so we can give it a sepia tone perhaps, we can, uh, the hue and saturation, we can up the saturation perhaps, uh, maybe change it a bit redder like that, okay, okay so we've got like a dirt texture, uh, what we can now do is um, go for green, a green texture, or a pink texture, let's have pink grass, yeah, that, 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 that's nice, okay, so just get our brush up the size, and, uh, something like that, okay, so there we go, there's a lovely pink grass, oh, nice, looking, looking very smexy, um, and let's give it a, um, uh, black smiley face, slightly dirty smiley face, but that's fine, so we can just, pardon me, we can save, uh, click okay, and now if we go back to our, oh, not there, if we go to our texture pack, as you can see, uh, if I go back into here and scroll down, you will notice that the grass texture, once I find it, is bigger. Or it should be. Once I find it. There we go. There we go. Okay. There is our grass texture. Okay. Looking very nice. Okay, let's do a, another one quickly. Um, I don't know. Let's do stone. Let's stone. Let's retouch the stone to look slightly weird. Um, do, 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 stone. Okay, so we can just drag this over, open the image, and uh, close that. And we can obviously resize it to whatever resolution we want. Okay, there we go. Uh, slightly blurry. Let's, uh, let's not go overboard on this. Let's do a second tone. Let's change the hue and saturation, let's make it blue, and let's make it, uh, I don't know, uh, bulge, make it bulge in the middle, something like that, looks slightly strange, slightly familiar as well for some reason, anyway, yeah, let's do that, let's go for, uh, I don't know, let's crystallise it, okay, yeah, that looks good, uh, make it smaller, higher quality, something like that, okay, that looks fine, 
Uh, so yeah, uh, that's off screen. Um, let's, uh, let's get the red smiley face, or a red frowny face. Okay, there we go. Um, so that's right. Uh, we'll save it as stone. Okay, so yeah, basically that is how you, uh, retouch this stuff. In Minecraft, it's very simple, very, very simple. But you can do this for all the blocks here, because they're all here. Uh, leave the, these ones for now. So stuff like water, stuff like, uh, sea lanterns, stuff like command blocks, stuff like the nether portal, magma block, because, as you can see, these are different shapes textures. And they have intermittent files, which we will go into in the next tutorial. Because the next tutorial is all going to be about animating textures and making them look absolutely sick and awesome. So, yeah. So, if we uh, close this down, and we go back over to Minecraft, and we full screen it, done. Okay, there we go. There, there we go. So, our resource pack should now be on. Okay, so I've just switched over the recording scene to solely Minecraft, so it will only uh, see the Minecraft. And if we go into single player and a world such as texture packs, which I created, um, it will not load on the screen, which is really annoying. Okay, so as you can see, we have our frozen, fr constantly freezing screen, because OBS is really rubbish with Minecraft, it doesn't seem to like it, but we also have our textures for the stone and for the grass uh, now that's because of the grass overlay but I will go into that in some more detail uh, well as soon as possible but anyway uh, thank you for watching this uh, tutorial if you enjoyed make sure that you leave a like and a comment and subscribe and do all that business and we shall be met again hopefully very soon in uh part three uh which will be coming out like in about like the uh, two weeks something like that so yeah and in that part i'll go into animating textures and all that business so yeah enjoy goodbye um.